श्री भगवान उपाच विखेदं द्रोण पुत्र ब्राह्मस्थ प्रदर्शित नुवास वेद संहार प्राण बाधोपस्थित तो वैसदेव श्रीमद्भागवत महामनिकृते इट इज नाट रिटर्न बाय ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन इन द बिगिनिंग इट इज से श्रीमद्भागवती महामनिकृते नॉट ओनली मुनि बट महामुनि किमन नई शास्त्र under the distraction of his spiritual master basde uh, revealed the scripture by spiritual experience uh, bhakti yoga pranihite hamale bhakti jo uh, he could realize narad muni asked him to write simply on the activity of the supreme personality of god he has written so many books all the vedas upanishads puranas but he was not feeling satisfied even after writing the vedanta sutra so at that time narad muni happened to come to him and uh, he just dies in that you have written so many books but they are not very useful uh, because people are generally attracted to dharma artha kaam moksha they are attracted uh, those who are civilized man they are attracted to some sort of religion system it doesn't matter whether it is hindu or muslim or christian they have some sort of religious practice that is the beginning of human civilization when there is no religious practice that is not civilized man just like in the jungle aborigines or the animals they have no religious system uh, in the human society there is some religious system uh, that for when the human society becomes without any religious uh, understanding the dharme nahi na pushbi samana immediately the animals they are not human uh, in civilized world uh, now at the present moment especially uh, the famous movement communist movement uh, they are after uh, completely driving out religious system uh, this is the misfortune of this age uh, so they are not in fault in one sense because the guardians of the religious system uh, they are fallen uh, just like immediately our uh, subhavilas prabhu was asking me that we have seen so many temples uh, why they are so neglected is it not your question and why they should not neglect it uh, these mostly the temples they have become the means of livelihood that is the defect uh, temple is not meant for means of livelihood uh, then it will deteriorate how long you can falsely worship deity a mexo avarati uh, you cannot go on 
very long time. That is not possible. It will be disgusting. Unless there is feeling, bhava, that here is Krishna. Krishna has very kindly come here to receive, to take, accept my humble service. He is so great that he cannot be approached by a person like me. Anoraniyanga mahato mahiyan. Suppose for the impersonalist Virata Rupa, the sky is the head of the uh, of the um, personality of Godhead. They think like that. And the uh, big, big mountains are the bones, and uh, big, big oceans are the holes of the body, and the trees, they are. In one sense it is all right. But if you take the Virata Rupa, and how you can capture? Uh, it is impossible. He has Virat Rupa. He has shown Virat Rupa to Krishna. But you cannot capture that Virat Rupa. You are teeny. Therefore, he is so kind that he has appeared before you in this temple so that you can touch him actually. You can serve him. You can dress him. Uh, you can offer him uh, eatables. Uh, it is. Therefore, if we think like that, not think, it is a fact, because God is not only very big. Mahato Mahiyar Anoraniya. He can become smaller than the smallest. That is God. Brahma does not mean simply big, just so that you cannot capture. Uh, that is omnipotency. Whatever he likes, he can become. Uh, he can put all the universes within his mouth. When Jasadamai challenged that, uh, Krishna, you are eating earth, your friends are complaining. No, Mother, I did not. They are you know, telling false. Now your elder brother, Balaram also is saying, now he has, this morning, he is angry with me, therefore he has joined him. I want to see your face. Ah, so, she opened the mouth and the mother saw that millions of Jasodha and millions of universes are within the mouth. Ah. Then she thought, maybe something, all right, don't do it. Finish it. Now Krishna is millions of universes within the mouth. He is being punished by Dasadama. This is Krishna. Anoraniyana mahato mahiya. This is Krishna. So when Krishna comes, you cannot see Krishna. You cannot capture Krishna. Mahato mahiya. When he comes before you, achamuti. Acha vigraha. This is Acha vigraha. Diti. Acha is Vishnu Siladhi. Krishna has appeared just like the same thing. Krishna, Jasadama, he wanted the Supreme Personality of Godhead as his son, for which hundreds of years he. Uh, undergone or she undergone austerities. And when the Supreme Personality of Godhead appeared before him, I uh, for a heart for both the husband and wife, what do you want? Now we want a son like you. So Krishna said, uh, there is no second one beyond me. So I shall become your son. So, so he became son. Uh, so he must play it perfectly. That Jasadamai may not understand that here is the Supreme Personality of God. Then the feelings of mother and son will disappear. 
Ah. Hey, Krishna is playing exactly like a little child. Ah. So that is Krishna's mercy. Ah. This is Krishna's mercy. Similarly, to us, we are not so elevated like Nanda Maharaj or Dasada Maharaj. We are just beginners. So we do not know what is Krishna. We cannot see Krishna, either is Virat Murti or this Murti. So what we can see, we can see stone, wood, or material things. Huh? So when Krishna appears uh, to be seen by you, and he appears like a stone statue, he is not stone statue. Don't think. Therefore, we must learn uh, how to see Krishna. Uh, so we should not think uh, that uh, here is a stone statue. As soon as we think of stone statue, then our this feeling, bhava, will be lost. So the answer is that if we establish some temple and did it and take it as a means of livelihood, uh, so at least we Indians were trained up like that. Not only trained up, we are born devotees. Anyone who has taken birth in India, that is special facility. In their previous birth, uh, they had performed many austerities, much austerities. Uh, even the demigods, they desire also to take birth in India uh, to get this opportunity. So India don't think, India means this planet, Bharatvarsha. Uh, there is good opportunity. Uh, so. Uh, we should not think. If we think that here is a stone statue, then it will not prolong many days. Uh, it will not golograha. No more big graha, but golograha. Suppose I have established this temple. Now under my direction, my disciples are worshipping big graha. Big graha means the form of the Lord, Rupa. But if there is no uh, following of the uh, regulative principles, then after my death it will be Golograha, a burden. Then our rascal Guru Maharaj established his temple and we have to worship, early rise in the morning or botheration. This will be. That is called Golagraha, a burden. He has left with us a burden. Uh, this is the this. Uh, then this such a big temple will be mismanaged and you will find that uh, this is breaking, and this is unclean, and there is no attention. This is. Uh, that is called Golagraha. The rascal has given us a burden. So uh, it is very difficult. If we lost, if we have lost that feeling that here is Krishna, here is a chance to serve Him. Sakshad haritte na samastha sarva. Not that. Sri Vigraha Dhana Nityanana Singha Tan Mandira Mahadina As soon as, therefore, we are very much vigilant. Why you do not this? Why you do not this? Why? As soon as the feeling of devotion and service will be lost, this temple will be a burden. This is the way. Uh, it will be such a big temple to manage, uh, it will be a great burden. So they are feeling burden. Uh, therefore they don't mind if some, somewhere is broken, sometimes you know, oh, like, let us, whatever money we have got, let us eat first of all. This is the position. Uh, Vigraha and Golagraha. You should understand. 
If we forget that here is Krishna personally present, we have to receive him. Hmm. Very nicely, we have to give him nice food, nice nice dress, nice then it is service. And as soon as the feeling comes that here is a stone uh, idol, they say sometimes idol are see, and we have been instructed to dress him, to give him all bodies and Finished. Uh, that has come uh, everywhere. I have seen in Nasi, in many, many big temples, there is no pujari, and the dogs are passing too. Not only they are making, in uh, Western countries also, the churches are being closed. Uh, big, big churches in London I have seen. Very big, big churches, uh, but they are closed. When there is meeting on Sunday, the caretaker, two, three men, and some old lady, they come. <laughs> Nobody comes. Uh, and we are purchasing. We are purchasing several churches because it is now useless. It is useless. Uh, now Los Angeles, we have purchased. Uh, and several others in Toronto uh, that recently we have purchased, big, big churches. But they would not sell us. Uh, one church, the priest said that I shall set fire in this church, still I shall not give to Bhakti Vedanta Sangha. <laughs> this Toronto churches was like that also. Uh, in Melbourne, uh, the condition was, self-condition was that you have to uh, dismantle this church building. You uh, say, no, why? He said, if you have temple now, nah, then we shall not give it. They refused. Uh, you know that. Uh, so they do not like that this Krishna consciousness movement will purchase our churches and install Radha Krishna duty. They do not like that. Uh, but it is not going on. So not only the churches in the Western countries, uh, here also, as soon as you will lose the spirit of service, this temple will become a big go down, that's all. No more temple. Uh, so you have to maintain the service spirit. Uh, therefore, you are so much particular. Why? Fresh flower is not there. Uh, if you think, and here is a uh, stone statue, uh, what is the meaning of fresh flower or old flower? We have to give some flowers, that's all. But no feeling. That here is Krishna, we must give fresh flower. It's like I'm a living man, if you give me fresh flower, and if you bring some garbage, and if you give me. Shall I be pleased? Do you think? So this feeling is losing even in the beginning. Uh, that we shall satisfy this statue with some rubbish, uh, garbage flower. He is not going to protest. Yes, he will not protest. But your life will be finished. If the protest will come like that. As soon as you lost the feeling, bhava, Buddha bhava samannita. Who can worship Krishna when there is bhava? Sai bhava. This has been discussed in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. What is bhava? But if you have no bhava, then you are on the material plan, Kanishta Dikari. Uh, simply so. A so cannot go on many days. So will be finished. Very soon. Uh, so if you do not keep the bhava, uh, the bhava means that is uh, on the liberation side, adu sadhya, tato sadhu sangha, tato bhajana kriya atha anatha nivitishya. First of all, you come to this Krishna consciousness moment, some of you, not all, 
श्रद्धा हाँ हे कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस मूवमेंट हरे कृष्ण मूवमेंट इज वेरी गुड लेट एस सी हाउ इट इज हाँ लेट एस जॉय द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल श्रद्धा मेनी पीपल काम आउट ऑफ श्रद्धा श्रद्धा मीन्स लिटिल फेथ बट अकॉर्डिंग to our goshami literature that faith is not little faith that faith is also very strong then the beginning is there uh, chaitanya charita amitakar has described about this faith he described faith means shraddha english word faith and sanskrit word is shraddha uh, respect सत दधान सो दिस श्रद्धा आदो श्रद्धा द बिगिनिंग इज श्रद्धा फेथ द दिस श्रद्धा इज डिफाइंड बाय कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी श्रद्धा शाब्दे विश्वास सुदृढ़ निश्चय कृष्णे भक्ति कहले सर्वकर्म कृत दिस इज श्रद्धा Uh, according to our Gauri Vishnu, this is Sudha. Uh, only the Krishna is asking, "Sarva Dharma an paritajjama me kang sarva nangbal." He is asking, demand. Uh, so when we have faith in the words of Krishna, yes, Krishna says, "Sarva Dharma an paritajjama me." Yes, I shall do. Then Sudha begins. Otherwise, there is no Sudha. Uh, That is the beginning of sadhya. Adho sadhya, tato sadhu sangha. If you have got faith in these words of Krishna, that yes, whatever Krishna says, sarva dharma an paritra jama ami kang sarva ami accepted, then sadhya begins. Otherwise, there is no sadhya. Ordinary sadhya is they are going this temple or another. Kali's temple, uh, Durga's temple. They say that everyone is all right. Jatama, Tatama, whatever is like. That is not sadhya. That is whims. And sadhya means when you firmly believe on the words of Krishna. The Krishna says, "Sarva dharma an paritra jama me kanga sarana gaja." Uh, therefore, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami said. श्रद्धा शब्दे विश्वास सुदृढ़ निश्चय कृष्ण से दैट गिव अप एवरीथिंग आई शैल गिव यू यस इट इज फैक्ट वाई शैल आई बॉल आई दैट इज श्रद्धा विश्वास सुदृढ़ निश्चय सुदृढ़ वेरी फॉर्म पे नॉट फ्री कैनिंग पे वेन यू हैट दिस काइंड ऑफ श्रद्धा नेचुरली The next stage will be how to keep my sadha and faith in Krishna. Then we have to mix with devotees who are keeping constantly in Krishna's service. Therefore, this temple is required. Uh, that devotees will always be engaged in Krishna's service, and those who have got sadha, they will come and see. The how the devotees are engaged, how they have sacrificed their life only for serving Krishna. That is sadhu sangha, sadhu sadhya, tato sadhu sangha. Therefore, we have constructed this big house. Why? The people, the ignorant, the rascals, they may, if they have little faith, they may come, live here, take whatever prasad is available, and mix with this devotee. आदो सद्या तथो साधु संग एंड इफ यू मिक्सेस विद द डिवोट इज ग्रेजुअली हिज बैड हैबिट्स ऑन अर्थ नो भजन क्रिया नेक्स्ट स्टेज इज द डिवोट इज आर सर्विंग कृष्ण दे आर ऑल्सो सेवन हेड दे हैव गॉट नेक बीट्स एंड दे आर चैंटिंग वाई नॉट माई सर दिस इज कॉल भजन क्रिया Then they approach, uh, sir. Uh, why not initiate me? Uh, there will be some poor, some regulative means which if you accept. This is bhajanakriya. Then automatically, 
anartha nivitti syar all nonsense habits uh, which are not required anartha just like smoking anartha unnecessary does it mean that if one does not smoke he will die but you will see in the whole world millions and trillions of dollar cigarette is selling anartha unnecessary uh, uh, do is it does it mean that if i do not eat meat i shall die i have seen in the western countries i observe everything uh, they eat meat very little uh, but because everyone is eating little meat big big slaughter houses are being built uh, they can give up a little piece of meat very easily he can give up he can take this pani but this rascal will not do that because he is a rascal uh, he eat meat and for he is meeting meat you have to maintain thousands and thousands of uh how this god <coughs> organized slaughter house and you have to kill uh, uh, killing means he is being implicated in sinful actions on earth unnecessary so we restrict this uh, sex sex life is all right required be a gentleman get yourself married and live husband and wife peacefully have two and three children now they are making forcefully that you cannot have uh, uh, more than two children uh, steady life uh, this is rascal teach him that he will not have sex life more than twice or thrice in life uh, but no tippante ne hakripana bahu dukha bhaja uh, the sex life is so strong that one has produced one child and he has suffered uh, the child has to be taken at night it is crying and then we have to give him a meal and so on so on so on he has suffered uh, but he has no sense why again chai uh, the answer tippante ne hakripona bahu dukha bhaj he knows that after this sex lies uh, illegal or legal and there are so much trouble that brahmachari is very safe life no trouble uh, Uh, but uh, those who are not trained up, uh, they are suffering, but they do not know how to stop this suffering because he is not trained up as brahmachari. All right, make it sterilize, contraceptive method, kill the child, more and more and more and more implicated. Bhuvuk ko bhaja. He does not know, or she does not know by killing the child what risk I am going to take. Bhuvuk ko bhaja. Behind this killing of child. Is so much trouble is there, but he rascal he does not know either the mother or the father. Hmm. Uh, so in this way, uh, if we do not take to Krishna consciousness, we will be more and more implicated. Uh, you cannot avoid. That is not possible. Uh, the God's nature is working so nicely. i have given you several time the example that if you infect some disease is must develop and you must have to suffer there is no excuse uh, similarly if you are associating with the modes of ignorance and you are committing some sins the effect you must have to suffer karanam guna sangarsha sada sad janma junishu ट unnecessary things which is not at all important the four things are this. no illicit sex no meat eating no gambling no intoxication nobody dies uh, 
బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ హ్యాబిట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ హ్యాబిట్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వే వీ హ్యావ్ టు మోల్డ్ అవర్ లైఫ్ అండ్ కృష్ణ కాన్షియస్నెస్ మూమెంట్ ఈజ్ ది బెస్ట్ ప్రాసెస్ దే ఆర్ ఫర్ దోస్ హూ ఆర్ సీన్ఫుల్ దోస్ ఆర్ ఎథీస్ట్ they have become little afraid of this movement therefore we have got so many enemies and now the in india especially the papers are criticizing us in so many ways uh, in the other countries also so we have to face this danger it is not danger we don't care for their criticism but we if we remain sincere in our action uh, there will be no Uh, I mean, it's obstacles. Oh, he took the opportunity of that. It is a sadness that the consciousness moment, opportunity of that, it cannot be checked, provided uh, if you remain to the principle. What is that principle? So, we bung jang paro dharma, jato bhakti radho khaji. If you stick to the principle of bhakti yogam, then ahuit ki aprati hota nobody can check it will make progress thank you very much మమ జ్ఞానతమిరాంధ్య జ్ఞానంజనాశలాఖయా తక్షరోన్మిలితం యేన తస్మై శ్రీగురవే నమ వాంఛాకల్పతరుభ్య కృపాసింధుభ్యే పతితనామ పావనేభ్యో వైష్ణవేభ్యో నమో నమ దయ శ్రీకృష్ణచైతన్య ప్రభునిత్యానంద శ్రీ అద్వైతగదాధర్ శివాసాది గౌరభక్తవృంద హరే కృష్ణ హరే కృష్ణ 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 హరే 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 రామ హరే రామ 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 హరే 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 కృష్ణ so such a lively class by shil prabhat no when i was sitting there i was thinking that we the second generation devotees we are so fortunate that we never got to see shil prabhat in person but we have access to such an easy access to all of this shil prabhat's vani we have shil prabhat's audio classes his room conversations morning walks this that so much and uh, we should not think that all of this is by chance no shel prabhupad personally arranged all of this for us like once what happened shel prabhupad was giving a class and all of a sudden the recording machine it ran out of the recording tape so what did shel prabhupad do shel prabhupad stopped speaking there he paused he sent a devotee to the market to purchase the new recording tape and he did not continue to speak till the time the a new tape was installed back in the machine so that shall pop us mercy so yes we should take full advantage of all of this so yes today's class was on the first canto seventh chapter text 27 and shall pop us began today's class uh, by talking about the author ashwin bhagavatam he says that it has been spoken by no ordinary person it has been spoken by mahamuni mahamuni krite vyasadev and vyasadev he has he had written many many books vedas puranas vedanta sutra this that but there was a problem after writing all this he was not satisfied can somebody please tell why yes i guess narad muni uh, later comes and explains to him why he is not uh, satisfied 
because he hasn't uh, described the glories of Krishna, the Supreme Person. And uh, he's um, just talking about many, many other things, um, not directly connecting it to Krishna. Correct. He, he, d- says, he says that you are talked about dharma, artha, kama, moksha. Right? The general populace, they are very attracted by the religious system. Right? Of course, that was earlier. Prabhupada tells that nowadays even that is not there. It's animal civilization. So, to support this statement, Shil Prabhupada quotes a verse from Hitopadesh. Anybody knows? Dharme nahina pashubhi samanaha. This is the verse. Ahar nidra bhai methanamcha. This is the verse from Hitopadesh. So, yes. So, because of this animal civilization, the different the religious system is being completely driven out from society shall Prabhupada gives example of communist movement they don't want any religion and then shall Prabhupada goes on to talk about the temples the temples are completely neglected why because they have become a source of livelihood nothing more than that and shall Prabhupada tells that if this happens if they are simply a means of livelihood then the right bhav cannot be there and then he goes on to explain what's the right bhav. So can somebody tell that please? What's the right mood in which, yes. Yeah, so the right mood is from lecture. I think Prabhupada said that Krishna is here, Krishna has come. Um, it's not just a stone. Uh, Krishna is here, he's come, so we should, we should uh, receive him nicely. We should... Uh, dress him nicely, feed him nicely, look after him. Yes, correct. So Krishna is uh, very great and we are very tiny. Shri Prabhupada quotes a verse from Katha Upanishad for this. What's the verse? No. Anayor Aniyan Mahata Mahiya. So Krishna is great, he is Virat. Still, he, we cannot capture him. Still, he is so merciful that he has appeared in the deity form in front of us. And if we think that this is not Krishna, he is stone statue, then what will happen? This Sri Vigraha will become what? Galagraha, right? So, Sri, Sri Vigraha is worshipable deity. And Galagraha is, Gala means neck and Graha means knot. So it will become a knot in our neck. So I was hearing a class uh, on, by Srila Prabhupada on Queen Kunti's prayers. Uh, this famous verse, Maya Javani Kacha Nam Agya Dokshitam Avyayam. So Srila Prabhupada was talking in Mayapur. So there, Srila Prabhupada had spoken for some 10-15 minutes. Between the class what happens is, some devotees, they get up and they start going out for some service. They are not going for sleeping, they are going for service. Shilpava stops the class and then he says, where are you going? So th- they must have replied something, Shilpava tells, this is Ugra Karma. Without hearing and chanting, what progress will you make? So already Krishna is Adhokshaj, he is beyond senses. On top of that, there is curtain of Maya. And on top of that, you people are not interested in hearing and chanting. What will happen? Shri Vigraha will become Galagraha. So today Shri Prabhupada spoke on this point very mildly. In that class he is literally shouting, you know. So yeah, devotees can hear that. So. And then Shri Prabhupada talks about the glories of taking birth in India. So can somebody tell that? India means this planet, not the country India. Yes, we shall. It's not related to this. Can I just make a comment on the previous yes, point? Yes, yes. So about uh, in the temples and churches being very like empty, vacant. I've seen that like when we travel uh, on Sanketan. Um, we were in Bournemouth and I saw a really nice church. And I was like, wow, it's so nice. Then I looked down, there were some lights and it turned out to be a nightclub. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, another place in Nottingham. I was walking and again I was like, wow, such a nice church. And I looked closer and there was a sign there and it said pitcher and piano, which is a bar, a restaurant. Oh. So I was like, wow, all these places, so nice, but 
the, it's like Kali Yuga, you know, it's completely upside down. Mm. <laughs> right. And Shelba was also giving the example of Nasik. In Nasik, he saw temples, you know, where what is happening? Dogs are passing stool, etc. No worship is happening. Right. And yes, then Shri Prabhupada talks about the different stages of devotion, the nine processes, the nine stages, sorry. He quotes a verse from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrit. Anybody remembers the verse? Going through, you must be knowing now. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah. And the translation, the translation. The process begins with Shraddha, then Sadhusanga, then Bhajana Kriya, and then we come fixed in our devotion, Nishta, and then we get Nartanavriti, we remove our obstacles, and so on. Jai. So, yes, so in, this, in these nine processes, the first one is Shraddha. Shail Prabhupada spoke so many things about Shraddha. Uh, Shail Prabhupada also quoted a verse about Shraddha, again from Chaitanya Charitamrit. Anyone? Okay, yeah. You want to quote? Shraddha Shabde Vishwash Suridha Nishchai Krishna Bhakti Kaila Sarva Karma Kritahai. Okay, the translation. What's the translation? What's the meaning? That Shraddha is based on uh, confidence. Yeah, yeah. So, in in nutshell, that's the thing. And then Shil Prabhupada talks about, was talking about training, importance of training, and how glorious Brahmachari life is. So, yes, can somebody tell in nutshell what was that? Say brahmachari life is easy life, it's no problems. Yeah, I'd hear all the thing that even if you end up getting married, so so because you're trained, you'll not need to take shelter of contraceptives and all. So that's the thing. So yes, all glories to the brahmacharis of Bhaktivedanta Manor. All glories to the brahmacharinis of Bhaktivedanta Manor. So, so yes, that was mostly it from me. Anyone wants to add anything, comment anything? A question. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that uh, Prabhupada spoke on a few things um, that were maybe not directly connected to the verse. So I was just thinking, did anything happen like at that time during that day or something before an incident which instigated Prabhupada to speak very strongly? I don't know, but maybe. If which particular point? Like about, Comment it. about the about the feeling, the bhava, the temples being neglected, like was there something that happened that prompted Prabhupada to speak very strongly? This this class is from September 1976. I don't remember any such incident. Doing service with, you know, uh, devotion. So they were they were deviating away from it. He'd seen it in churches, etc. So mm. I think maybe that's why he was comparing. Yeah, or maybe Shri Prabhupada might have visited Maharashtra at that time. That's why he was saying, "No, Shubhvilasru, we saw that the other day. You were asking me why the temples are neglected. So might be Shri Prabhupada had been on India visit during that time." Yeah. All right. Gr yes, Param Pranapra. Hare Krishna. Um, I, I saw that Prabhupada said about uh, uh, the people that uh, was born in India, that uh, uh, they are born devotees, no? But then also said that uh, uh, not the country India. No? Can you say something about that to let me understand better? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, Shilpa, what my best guess is, 
Shell Prabhupada was trying to glorify India, then he might have realized, oh, in the audience, there are so many Western disciples, so they might end up feeling bad. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Can you go more slowly, please? Okay. So what my best guess is, Shell Prabhupada wanted to glorify India, mm-hmm. but when he spoke that, he might have realized that, oh, there are so many Western disciples sitting in the audience. Okay. So they might end up feeling bad. So that's why he said that India means not only the country India, the pl- and that's true also. So King Bharat, Bharat Maharaj, he was so, after him, the Bharat Varsha name has come. So he was not just part of that tract of land, which is today called India. He was a he was king of the entire planet. So earlier days, Bharat Varsha referred to the entire planet. So when the demigods, they talk about glories of India in the fifth canto. So that talks about the entire planet, not just that particular tract of land. So. Aparam Karana, you want to add something? developing faith and uh, Prabhupada says faith means words of Lord Krishna and accepting words of Lord Krishna but to accept the words of Lord Krishna you require faith so it's kind of like a circular right because Prabhupada is saying by accepting the words of Lord Krishna you develop faith Mm -hmm. but you require faith to accept the words of Krishna to fully accept Actually, faith in itself is a very broad term. There's a verse in Chaitanya Charitamrit which says that somebody is defined as Kanishta Madhyam and Uttama based on his degree of faith. Remember the verse? Okay. There's a verse, I think, in the Madhya Leela. So it says that simply by the degree of one's faith, you can figure out who's Madhyam Adhikari, who's Uttama Adhikari, who's Kanishta Adhikari. So when you're saying that, to accept Krishna's words, we need faith. And when we have faith, then we'll accept Krishna's words. So it's a cycle. So yes, so what words of Krishna we accept when? That, det- that determines, that is based on our situation in Krishna consciousness. So if somebody is a Kanishta Adhikari, he'll just accept that part, that one should go and worship the deity. Somebody is a Madhyam Adhikari, he'll accept that. Ishvareta Dhineshu Palishesho Dushat Sucha Prema Maitri Kripa Upeksha and then the Uttam Adhikari will do the rest of things as well. So yeah, that's best guess. Alright. Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki, Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada ki, Gaur Pramanande. We'll have bhajans in the temple room from 9.15. All are invited. Hare Krishna.